USA 9 Weather Impact is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. Before we get to our weather on the go, let's get to this mega storm moving through the Caribbean right now. Hurricane Barrel, still a powerful Category 4 despite weakening from a Category 5 this time yesterday. Now people in Jamaica are getting ready for it to make landfall. We're asking all Jamaicans here, tell the Jamaicans back home to prepare, take all the necessary precautions. Now, the D.C.-based nonprofit World Central Kitchen is already helping those impacted by Barrel. They shared these photos on X yesterday, delivering food and water to people in St. Vincent and the Grenadines as well. So, uh, World Central Kitchen always yeah. doing good work. Uh, they people coming together. Absolutely, least, right? absolutely. And uh, but the devastation is is huge. Even though it's been, it's still downgraded to a four, right? Right. It's but still a mess. I mean, a four is. I mean, right. it, Typically, a four would just be massive, huge. Right. But I mean, it was a five. And a July, early July category. Right. This is all just this is just I mean, starting is hurricane all, season. We, yeah, we are yeah. we are in uncharted territory. So let's go ahead and break things down for you. This hurricane, I mean, it has meant business since this thing started. Let's go ahead and take a look. Still, this is a category four, 145 mile an hour hurricane. I mean, these are rare even in August and September when we have typical Hurricanes that get pretty large and pretty powerful during the peak of hurricane season. But I mean, in July, almost unheard of, only the second July Category 5 hurricane that we have ever seen. The last one was back, Emily, in 2005. And uh, this is going to be making the push toward Jamaica today. Winds already picking up there, surge already picking up, light threatening surge and winds, as well as flooding rains. Going to be a potential all day long there. And then the Cayman Islands get scraped by this as it's a category three late tonight into tomorrow. And eventually it makes a push towards the Yucatan Peninsula. Already hurricane watches out for that and could even be getting close to the extreme southern U.S. around Brownsville and the northeastern portion of Mexico late in the weekend, early next week. That could still be a category one hurricane. So this thing, it's been a monster. It's looking less impressive as it's impacting some mountainous area here, Dominican Republic to Haiti. But it's still, again, a formidable force as it's making its push toward Jamaica, as well as the Cayman Islands. Hurricane warnings are up there and then all the way out to uh, portions of the northeastern Yucatan coast around Cancun. We've already got hurricane watches posted for those.